This is an updated instruction for how to get to the GNOME desktop from Tormach Pathpilot. The previous way I had documented, which involved using Alt-Shift while the computer was booting at the Tormach boot screen in order to get to the GNOME desktop and prevent Tormach uh, Pathpilot from booting, does not work anymore. So the current way to do it is to first shut down the mill and then go to exit down here in the lower corner. Exit, we're gonna hit OK. And immediately after we hit OK, we're gonna hit Alt Shift. And hold it. And it's gonna bring up the screen here and eventually you'll see the menu bar drop down. At that point you can release Alt Shift. And it will stay in that uh, GNOME screen desktop. And then I can go to the Tormach INI file and I can make the changes I need to make. In this case, I was adjusting the backlash of the Z axis. This is my Z axis here. And I was adjusting the backlash here. So I have the backlash compensation set to 0 0.0008, so eight ten thousandths of an inch. Once you're done changing your settings, then close that file, save it first, and close and restart the GNOME desktop and the whole computer actually. So it's going to reboot here. And see, I'll show you what happens when I hold alternate and shift during the boot process. Okay, I'm pressing and holding the alt shift after the Tormach screen splash came up. We'll see if this works. Oh, it's working. Uh, it wasn't working before. I don't know what changed. Maybe because I started using it after. Um, so let's try this again. Maybe I was doing it too late the first times, but I read online from people saying that alternate and shift was no longer working to get into the GNOME desktop. So must not have just been my issue. Let's see what happens if I wait a little bit longer before when it, after it comes up. Okay, now I'm gonna do it. Push Alt, Alt and Shift. Still seems to be working. Uh, what was happening before is it was, um, it was just going ahead and loading up the Tormach software. So now I can get in the file here doesn't seem like the Tormach software is loading up anymore like it was before when I didn't want it to. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in the Tormach software. Okay, so now you've seen two different ways to do it. You can use Alt-Shift while it's booting or you can use Alt-Shift when you exit the Tormach software and both ways seem to work. Um, the part where it's booting doesn't work as reliably in my experience. Okay, this time I'm just gonna let it boot into the Tormach Pathpilot software. And this is how it should work normally. So that's working. I'm gonna reset my machine. And I'm just looking here at the Z axis. I was working on the backlash of the Z axis. So I've gotten the backlash down where it's very good. So here we're at zero, if I go in one direction, and if I reverse, it starts to move right away and only a very small amount as it should. So I'm gonna start from here at zero, set the Z to zero, and I'm gonna move in one direction Point o two. Got point o two two there. Yep, and let's move in the other direction. Point o two and negative point o two two. I go back down. So it's pretty good. Let's go all the way to point one. Went a little too far. 
oops, there we go, 0 0.105 millimeters. Let's go back the other direction. And 0.102, so that's very good right now. It's not jumping like it was before. Before it was, back last conversation was a little bit higher. I'd set it to 0 0.002 inches and it was jumping about 0 0.04 millimeters. So every time you change the, change the direction, it would jump this much, like up to here. So this is a big difference.